Well, today we're trying these new products from Beauty Creations, and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. And at the end, I'll tell you kind of my thoughts on this product. But spoiler alert, I really like this, this company. I can't wait to see what other products they have available. So I'm hoping you stay to the end to listen and have a great one. Well, good Here morning. Here we go. I think it's a good morning. Um, my husband's back in Georgia. The storms are coming to Florida, which means it'll be nice and cool in the mountains. All my Florida friends, I hope you are safe. I'm thinking about you. I'm trying to get ready, make my own coffee, and let's do this. So today I'm doing using a new palette from a new company I haven't used before and it's by Beauty Creations. And I got their highlighters and some of their lipsticks. So we're gonna do that today. As a base for the lipstick, I'm gonna use the Amore Matte from Milani because the one I'm gonna put on top is gonna be a metallic. I think I'm gonna go with this lip gloss on top. It's a metallic matte. This one is called Sweet. And these have kind of a chocolate type smell to them. So that gives a nice peachy type look. Then we are gonna use the Beauty Pops and this is called Bake Pops. They kind of look like a pop. And those are the highlighters, so we're just gonna take a bit of each. Looks like they have a tiny bit of fallout. It also looks like they are nice and in between, not too light, but not overpowerful. Well, maybe, Woo. I may have just taken that statement back. Look at it on camera, they're really picking up well in the light. I'll take back what I was just about to say, saying it's a medium one, but I do look like a cupcake. And I like looking like a cupcake. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the Sweetest palette. I got two different palettes from them. I got the Sweetest palette, and then I got Sugar Sweets. They're just adorable. Again, sucker for packaging, party of one. And that's what the inside of the palette looks like. Lots of pretty oranges, so getting ready for the fall is gonna be fun. We are going to start out with this color Sour and get that down as a base. Now that we have that down as a base, I'm gonna pick up this color here called Cotton Candy. Well, hello, buddy. Cotton Candy is my transition shade. So these don't have a ton of fallout, but they're nicely pigmented. So I was expecting something not pigmented. I don't know, I guess because every time I feel like I'm new to using a product, I always expect the worst, which whatever. School is back in, my dogs are barking off the hook, and we are not friends this morning, I can promise you. All right, we're gonna go down here to Lollipop, which makes me wanna sing the Lollipop song, but I'm not going to hurt your ears this morning. Mm -mm. Nope, so thank me for giving you a break. Really like these colors, how they're building. I'm gonna have to look more into this Beauty Creations group. See what else I can find. I think they've got a ton of lipsticks and I just went with more of the nudie metallic to be safe. And by the way, this is Lollipop. Really pretty nude base. Okay, so I think, I think, I think, I think I want to pick up this, oh, Decisions. We're gonna start out with Sherbert right here. And I'm assuming, and these are going, this metallic eye is going on nice. I'm assuming if I got it wet, the brush wet, that it would pick it up even more. However, I, I just kind of want it lighter. Not, I want it shimmery for the day. 
Okay, on the other side of that flat brush, I'm gonna pick up Jelly Ranchers. How cute is that? Very, I'll answer that for you, very. So these have a tiny bit of fallout. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna pick up more of that lighter, lighter color cotton candy and just slowly soften these edges. And if I feel like I've lost my bit up here for my brow bone, I can pick up a little bit more and lighten that brow bone. Okay. Now I'm going to pick up the brush that I've been using and we're going to use some fudge, which is over here. So I'm almost just pressing it into that outer part of the V and swirling left and right to get it just tucked in right there. Usually I go more that way to windshield wiper motions, but not today. I'm going to use a little bit of this primer from The Ordinary and get this just right on the edges. We're going to clean up the edges a bit. Okay, edges cleaned up. Going back in with this flat brush, I'm going to pick up some, actually, I think I'm going to come down here to this color candy. I'm going to go in with this Essence Waterproof Liner, and this is in a color black. You know me, it's waterproof and black for the most part. Okay, I've never used this pen and I like it. Okay, then we're gonna go into the water resistant scuba from The Balm. I'm gonna go in with my Marc Jacobs. That creates this look. Thank you so much for watching today as I created this look using the wonderful company beauty creations absolutely impressed i've never used them before i would never heard of them and then i found them on facebook one of the beauty pages i watch um, someone had put out there that um, they were going to order the palette don't hate on the company because it's not a, a two-faced dupe so anyways i i didn't find this to be a two-faced dupe other than you know, it does have that metal package, which is awesome. Um, the smell in here is of a chocolate scent, so that was kind of neat. The colors blended really well. They're pigmented, have a tiny bit of fallout, but I expect that out of most colors. I really, really like it. I, the mirror on the inside was helpful. Again, the colors were just a blast, so really enjoyed using this. And I also used their Bake Popped, Bake Pops, which again was these highlighters, absolutely adorable. I hadn't used those up until today, so I was really impressed with the way that it showed on the cheek. Wasn't expecting that at all. I think I had gotten some from BH Cosmetics that just didn't pop as much as these do. Let me shut that door. Okay, and then I used, um, I've been using their lip, their metallic lip glosses over the past couple weeks, so I have been using those. Those really do not kiss off, they stay on. They're pretty dang excellent, and I like them. They do have a variety of colors, so I look forward to trying other colors. I just think they're a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have used Beauty Creations in any of their products, please put a comment below. I'm kind of curious to see how many of you out there have used this company since I had never used them before. So if you get an opportunity, leave a, a quick note down below. I do want to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch one of these videos. Um, I am very thankful for my YouTube audience. 
It's been a great year um, trying to build the channel and I'm having so much fun because I'm also building some great friendships out there. So thank you all so much for watching my videos um, and leaving comments because I have really enjoyed the friendships that I've gained. So with that said, I hope you guys have a beautiful day and as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.